911 is on its way in, yes? Emergency at the Man Shack launch. Stay there, stay dedicated to safety. We're gonna have some boats coming in here pretty soon. I wanna keep you dedicated for safety. First responders getting firsthand experience in swift water rescues. All right, guys, we're starting the scenario. We're starting the scenario. Steve is gonna give the, uh, the word to the civilians to start calling. It's an exercise in emergencies we see here all too often. Whether it's the May 8th, the 9th of 1995, or whether it was the, uh, the floods in uh, St. Tammany and Livingston Parish uh, last year, flooding is going to continue to happen. And uh, as our levee systems continue to get taxed and our drainage continues to be compromised and more asphalt is being laid to pave roads, we're going to have more flooding issues. So it's really important for the first responders to understand what it is that they're facing so they can deal with it properly. 50 first responders from Tangipahoe and law enforcement from multiple other agencies took to the water and to the air Thursday. The rescue teams were not told what would be thrown their way during the training. We're trying to create a very emotional situation. We want to create confusion. We want to create that unknowing. On the other end of those scenarios are volunteer victims, including Amit resident Karen McKean. The levee broke right beside us. The water was rising and we needed to be rescued. The water was coming up really quickly. All of the houses were going into the water. Even during the drill, McKean thought about what this would be like in a real emergency with very real dangers. I just pray that they all stay safe as they're trying to rescue other people because they also have families at home. Reporting in Tangibahoe Parish, Jennifer Crockett, WDSU News.